today's topic is about the lens of the eye that how uh cristalline lens look like uh, and when you remove the cataract and put intraocular lens artificial how it looks um, and when you don't put eye well how it looks so the first uh, case uh, shown is of pseudophakia when you replace the natural lens with an artificial lens the anterior chamber is uh, normal to deep there is a jet black pupil with shiny reflex of the iol there is no iridodonesis on moving the eye and when you shine the torch light it will move in the opposite direction and you will see two images instead of one vision is very good and if there is anterior chamber iol you will see peripheral iridotomy as well so that's the case you can see of with movements the two reflexes they are moving in opposite direction now here the natural lens has been opacified and that is known as cataract so in one eye the patient is having cataract that's how a cataract looks and in the other eye the patient is pseudophakic so when the natural lens is transparent and in its place behind the iris the eye is called phakic and when the transparency is lost and lens becomes opacified it is still phakic but cataract cataract yes you have to remove the lens when you replace it with an artificial lens the eye becomes pseudo phakic and when you don't put an eye well it is known as a phakia like here in this case we have got a phakia in a phakia there is when you put the torch light there is only one reflex you can clearly see one reflex and it moves in the direction of the movement of the torch there is also iridodonesis when the globe is moved because there is no back support of the lens so the iris is shaky or tremulence now in this patient you can see how the iris moves with the movements of the globe so in older days when the iol insertion was not routine the cataractous lens would have been removed and the eye would have been sutured without any artificial lens implant such state was a phakia so the these are the uh signs by which you diagnose a phakia jet black pupil deep anterior chamber iridodonosis peripheral iridotomy and a single torch reflex image and it moves in the direction of the movement now here again in this case uh, you can clearly see that the patient is pseudo phakic there is a shiny reflex of the lens uh, with the movements of the globe there is no movement of the iris because iris has got the back support of the artificial lens so that's a case that's a state of pseudophakia now here again the iris is weak without any support so it's iridodonesis now a fa phakia you can see the peripheral iridotomy so now you will be able to differentiate between the a phakia pseudo phakia and phakia in phakia the anterior chamber can be normal shallow or deep like here like here we are showing you bilateral phakic with a transparent crystalline lens there will be no iridodonesis or phacodonesis if the zenules are uh, normal and the uh, pupil is not jet black you can see it's a grayish black or greenish black so these are uh, all the signs of uh, phakia thank you very much